okay so we have selected the material now you can see there are three there are so many options in laminar flow there is a thing in setting window that is called equation if we click on equation if we expand this then you can see the equations this is nothing but a navier stokes equation which is valid for an incompressible fluid and you can see here the equation and this is this is nothing but the continuity equation so those are the two equations which we will be solving basically in order to get the solution from this modeling now you can see we already know in order to solve a particular set of differential equations we need certain boundary conditions and the problem should be well posed that is the degree of freedom should be zero so the basic thing is that we need to give the proper boundary condition so now we can see here there should be an inlet and outlet in order to define the problem properly so we can choose our inlet by clicking right uh, by right clicking on the laminar flow and after right clicking you can choose your inlet your outlet now i choose one inlet and other outlet now in inlet here you have to define where is the inlet basically so let us take this surface as my inlet and you can see here there are several options if you click on the drop down there will be options like pre velocity pressure laminar flow and mass flow i choose pressure because i am simulating a poisley flow let us take 40 pascal of pressure not 40 we take some 10 pascal and in outlet let us choose this one as my outlet and in outlet we take the pressure zero here zero means the atmospheric pressure because in comsol the pressure is always in gauge pressure i will show you here the reference pressure is one atmosphere this reference pressure is one atmosphere so the it is in gauge pressure now we are done with the boundary conditions oh, one thing i will show you in wall what are the boundary condition we have taken so automatically it has taken no sleeve but if it is not then you can choose from the available options there is there are so many options like sleeve no sleeve sliding wall and other things but in this particular simple problem we choose no slip in the in both the boundaries now my this these things i mean this no slip inlet pressure outlet pressure all are the boundary conditions now this problem is properly defined now i go to mesh and there will be a, there will be several options in mesh also mesh we can choose normal mesh fine mesh extremely fine mesh based on the complexity of the problem we go for fine finer and finest meshes but here the problem is very trivial so we use normal mesh and just build all you just click on build all and you see your mesh has been created now mesh means those are the points where we will solve the equations i have shown you earlier okay so those are the points where we will be solving our equations and we will get the numerical value now i directly go to study i have taken unsteady state time dependent so this here you can see there is a range what does it mean it means we'll, we are solving this for 0 to 1 second and we are saving the data after 0 0.1 second that is the step size is 0 0.1 second now once all the things are done you can click on compute now we are console is simulating the particular problem now if i sh show you here those are the time steps that is coming during simulation once the simulation is done you will get the profile the velocity profile after simulation we get several surface plot and this is the plot for velocity i'll show you 
near the wall you have less velocity you can see here blue means 0 and the red one means 0 0.1 so the velocity is varying from 0 to 0 0.1 meter per second and <coughs> it is increasing as I go from the from wall to the bulk now if I want to plot the velocity along a along this line then what to do I will show you we go to data set just right click on data set take a cut line 2d and from this cut line 2d you have coordinate you have to give your coordinates suppose I want to take a line at this place that is your x is 6 so you choose x is 6 and your y is from 0 to 3 now just click on so that is the line we have we go to result just right click on the result and take 1d plot group and before doing that in your cut line 2d we choose the solution as study 1 because we all we only have one solution in 1d group we take the data set from cut line 2d1 we have taken initially and say the time selection we have taken all that means all the time steps we have we, are, we will plot here and right click on 1d plot group and take line graph once the line graph comes So what did I do? I just clicked on line graph and after that I clicked on plot and those are the different time steps. So you can see as time progresses it develops, the flow develops. 